Okay. Hi, Bob. First operation is to set the machine. So I know that this is my sample and I know that there's 1.4 grams out balance on that wheel. So on my EB500 I need to have 14 <laughs> MMS and I have to set that first that way I will have my readings correct it it changes sometimes so right now I'm right on good so let's start balancing okay I made a mistake uh, it's just for the wheel that wheel is uh, just for calibrating the reader so I need to have 14 on the reader and uh, I adjust my values and every time I start balancing I have to recalibrate because the values are not always the same sometimes it moves and I don't know why but it does so I have to calibrate and after that my uh, my balancement is good for making a each time I'm balancing uh, about a hundred wheels a batch of a hundred wheels and after that I'm a little tired normally a hundred wheels takes me I'm doing that inside an hour, an hour, hour and a half or something, if there's not too many uh, uh, double weights on the wheel. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, so balancing operation. Suppose I'm proceeding right now, okay? So I need a marker. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, first, place here put a dot. This is my zero degree. Make a third. Add an evaluation. 24 at 129. A zero. 129. 2.4 gram. One. Zero. Third. It's uh, 5.6. It's 10. 10 at 331. has to be done. So let's look at the EB500 what I done. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the first one that was 24 2.4 
with 12, a little more. But I just started. Let's check the second one. The second one was value in grams it's twice the reading so if I have five it's ten ten is one gram okay the other one uh, I haven't weighed enough to get the reading so I was a little too fast and uh, well uh, the machine is not warm yet <laughs> you know uh, it started like this that's how I proceed let's Let's get to the balance of that. Before injecting, I need to mark the injection point where it's so that one is the dot, here is the injection point, and the, the weight was there, right on, okay? Now I know where I can inject. So, how it is. So, here at 3 grams it's 7.7 uh, here fluid on the dot 5 7.7 that one is 1 one is uh, 2.6 this is my 2.6 and after that we need to place them in the oven for four hours to get them dry okay the weight we are placing on the wheel more outside heavier is the weight okay and we have to calculate the uh, the we need the final result so when it's liquid it has to dry so only 10 percent of the weight stays on the wheel and the position the precision of the position is really important and the tolerance is not so big we are always quarter gram is really good for us for the okay i wish that uh, uh, this uh, little demonstration will answer the thing bob uh what can be really helpful for us is having a uh a balancer that we don't need to turn at uh, uh, 2500 or 2500 uh, uh, or 3000 RPM. Uh, if having a horizontal horizontal balancer that we make only two or three turn that we don't need to place a, a blocker on the wheel. The wheel stays on, we place the wheel on, it turns only two, three times, and we can inject on that machine, saving operations like this will be way faster. Uh, I'm using only a single weight with the weights under three gram of balance. As soon as there are more of that, 
between three and five grams we're using two weights two different weights on on the on the grinding wheel and over that we need to make a pre-balancement a gravity balancement before getting to this ciao